Hey, good morning, old Slicky. How's everybody been doing? Man, I am sorry I've not put a video out in a while. Uh, I had this disease, it's called laziness. And uh, man, it's just been cold. Old Slick had the flu, just a bunch of stuff, man, just by being old. But I tell you what, man, it's the second day of spring. I've been trying to get out of here. I got the old DR loaded up, gonna go on a little bit of a camping trip. Okay, the purpose of this video is I'm gonna kind of demonstrate how I'm packing. And, uh, and I've got everything packed on that bike right now that if I wanted to go on the Trans-American Trail and be gone for weeks or, you know, months, uh, I can survive and, uh, and comfortably. But I am a bit of a minimalist uh, when it comes to camping. Uh, I'm not going very far. I'm going to go camp on some private property. A guy I know where, you know, it won't cost nothing to be free. Tusk set, then this large bag. And everything is strapped on nice and tight. And uh, I did a little demonstration ride yesterday and a uh, little practice ride, did real, real well. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna uh, go do some ride bys and I'll let you guys look and see what y'all think. Okay, uh, what I have on here is, uh, I believe these are the Tusk Excursion uh, Pannier. They come along, uh, they tie onto the side, and you can use these without a rack, but I have a rack, which I don't know if that's benefiting me or not, but uh, it's got a, uh, like a double piece here, and uh, which is making it quite rigid, which I can see that really provide some great protection but uh, i don't think i'm gonna need it like i say what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to go light as possible so uh i'm try trying to work this out I, I bought this small i don't know how many liter bag this is that's the small bag that went with it i've yet to figure out this uh system but before i go i think i'm gonna go ahead and take this bottom part off right here and I'm going to go ahead and this, are, these are set where they will adjust to make this uh, tilt down more or up. And I've got them in the middle. They were up here. I put them halfway. I also have this um, larger <clears throat> bag that I actually like a little bit more because this other one rolls. It rolls. If you have it on here. I assume it'll be like that. So I guess it would roll out from the back. But if I can't get everything I need in here, the extra weight of that bigger bag may be the deal. Configurations here in town. You guys, uh, let me know what y'all think. Just FYI, this is the type of rack I have on here. Well, I'm not sure what this rack is. I think it was just something I bought on Amazon. Probably some Chinese ripoff. But a uh, good sturdy rack. All right, what's up, what's up? I hope y'all enjoying the camping trip so far. Hey, let me show you a little bit more detail what uh, I got here on the table. Let me switch this thing around. Okay, this seems like a lot of equipment, but it's really not. You're gonna see, I'm gonna be able to pack all this on uh, that DR650. Uh, okay, with my clothing. Of course, I will be wearing, uh, you know, my full riding gear. Uh, you know, I have a helmet, my 
riding jersey, a coat, riding pants, socks, underwear, and boots. That's what I'll be wearing. This is what I'll be carrying. Okay, uh, one pair of shorts. It's just a bag my clothes are going in. And since it is a little cool, I will use, I, I carry tops and bottoms, these merino wool, smart wools, to help me warm up. A nice little hat for at night. One extra pair of socks, one extra pair of underwear, one t-shirt for sleeping in, one extra riding jersey. And this is a mid-layer to help uh, warm any of this up if I need to, or when I'm riding, if I need to put that on my uh, inside. Always carry a good pair of Crocs with straps in the back in case you need to walk in them. An, ex an extra hat. Okay, and then I'll carry you know a variety of electronics, uh, phone, a few cords. Don't have that all here. Uh, a very small amount of uh, uh, you know uh, personal hygiene items. Then, as far as my sleep system, I have the I have the Z Pack uh, duplex tent. I think it weighs like 21 ounces. I modified some uh, hiking poles, lined them up to hold that up. This is about a one pound z -pack sleeping bag, 40 degrees. This is a Thermarest uh, mat. This is a an extra, it adds a little bit more warmth to this. Like I said, if, uh, uh, if this sleeping bag and that, that should get me down to about 30. But if it gets colder, like I said, that's when I'll put the merino wool and all that. Like I said, I've been doing this a while, it ain't no big deal. All right. Um, uh, then right here is a, just an extra little cozy uh, thing that goes around this air mattress. You'll see all this when I set it up. Okay, then I always carry a, um, for my, my Sawyer uh, squeeze and a bag in case I need to um, clean up some water. And it's just extra stuff that I'm carrying now. I won't be carrying most of the time, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to get a little small uh, camping chair. But I don't have a camping chair, so I'm going to go ahead and just bring a little small hammock. You know, swing up a hammock, have something to uh, say while I camp. One extra day of food. Always just, uh, I think I got some pink salmon, salmon and a normal, okay, a knife. And my cooking gear, I cook on a uh, uh, gas, small gas stove. It's the lightest way to go. And I use uh, that for my fuel. Okay, as far as my tools, <laughs> back brace, uh, thing, uh, back, jump, Thing to jump the battery with a uh, pump in here this has got a front tube a back tube and then tire arms tire arms I'm not that right and then this is just a quick repair kit in just case I could patch it and then these are the tools for the DR and I'll probably add a couple more tools okay but anyway with those items uh, uh, on this film uh, tomorrow or I guess whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you can see how all those items look and I'll show you how, how I have them uh, packed, up, uh, packed up on the, the system that I'm using. Anyway, hey, I'll see y'all out there. Try to drive with one hand, which is probably not a great idea. One got it. I keep these RPMs up and don't stall it. Times like this, I want to change this gear out. Okay, I've reached a nice area back here. Lots of beautiful woods. Okay, we did a little rough ride and come in here. Let's see how well that's on. Man, that is steady as a rock. I'm real satisfied with that. That didn't get in my way. Excited about these once I, uh, on my Africa Twin, 
you go back and look at some of the videos, I had those big aluminum panniers. One day I got kind of loose in some sand, had to put my foot down, which I shouldn't have, but it's just a reaction. I kind of started going like this and I put my right foot down and my foot, my leg went back and that bottom of that metal pannier hit my calf and son, it almost, uh, it, it hurt like crazy. Yeah, very, it could have broke my leg. But anyway, I, I like the way this is working so far. Okay, if you've uh, never seen this tent like this, this is a tent by z -Pack. It's called a uh, duplex. But uh, it is a back, an ultralight backpacker's dream. Okay. This thing weighs about 21 ounces. And uh, now I need them. It's the name of that material. Super, super nice. And uh, what's good about it is uh, when you put this tent up, sometimes you got to put your tent up in the in the rain. So when I laid this down, like if you have a, if you have a tent, you got to put the bottom up and then the rain cover. When you set the bottom up, it's going to get wet. It's going to rain down in your tent. Then when you put the rain cover on, you know it's going to solve that a little bit. But this, when you put it up, when you lay it flat down, rain's not going to get in there. Okay, it's got a zipper on both sides. mosquitoes out there and uh, I'm gonna put my sleeping stuff in there I like to open it up one side like there and then I like to make the second side like a, uh, a vestibule and uh, I can put my I put a few things out there okay once I set up in here I have a uh, uh, armrest that this since 2016 I'm, uh, I've slept on a lot and uh, I haven't got a hole in it just gotta be careful and uh, got a little cover that goes on that. Okay, the last thing I have is I have this little silk sheet. That'll uh, increase my warmth by about 10 degrees. But the main thing I use that for is a sleeping bag liner. As uh, sometimes when I hike, I'm uh, getting stinky. Sometimes when I ride metal girl, I'm sure I'm gonna get stinky. So it's nice to have this little uh, thing to go in your sleeping bag, keep them getting so stinky. And uh, you can go back and look at some of my other videos when I was hiking on the Appalachian Trail. You can see exactly how I set everything up. But once I get in here, I set everything up the same way. And that's my extra clothes. And whatever I don't use, I'll stuff in that and make a nice little pillow. All right. Okay, we're going to set the hammock up. And uh, see what's next. Okay. Let's camp. for now. A little, little tree in the way, but ain't no big deal. But uh, that's why I like to set my hammock up. I like to set it up low. You, you won't be, you know, I prefer a chair, but sometimes I prefer a hammock. I prefer a chair because it's easier just to pop up and sit because you got to stop on the side of the road or something to rest. But a hammock, I set mine low so my feet touch the ground. Oh, slick kicking back, man. You know, no one. I get in that tent, I go to sleep. So uh, tonight I'll sit out here a little bit, chill, look around. All right, it's been a nice, quiet evening. I was going to watch the sunset, but. Clouds came back out. 
Uh, hey, oh my goodness, what's going on here? Hey, Stella, where'd you come from? <laughs> no, my wife called me and told me, but my best, my best girl Stella was pouting for me not taking her camping. So uh, I'm, I only live about three miles from here. So we uh, drove back and dropped the bike off and picked the mule up. I left everything that was on the bike here. And uh, the only thing I brought back extra was Stella. Oh, and actually I forgot some hot dog buns. <laughs> you had a good time, Stella? Spend night with daddy? You know, that's right. this has been a crazy random uh video but uh what i wanted to get out of this video is mostly is to show you kind of how my bike set up and uh, i'm exploring this luggage uh how i'm getting this tusk set up and uh kind of explain a little bit about uh like you know how i'm trying to go ultralight so uh i hope you got something out of this video and if you didn't what i do want you to to try to do if you're trying to go light is man Tap into the Appalachian Trail through hikers. The uh, people that do that, uh, man, they really know about light gear. You're not really worried so much about cutting the ounces as much as, as, you, as you do when you ultralight backpack. But uh, look in some of those videos about packing, how to pack food, and things like that. And, uh, and, and, and when you start trying to pack and practice, <clears throat> don't carry so much stuff. You know, I seen a video some guy had like, uh, doing the trans America Trail, he was carrying like uh, 17 MREs. Another guy was carrying five pairs of blue jeans. Uh, you know, cut all that stuff out and, and start practicing and uh, see what what you really don't need. But man, hey, uh, man, but I've enjoyed making this video. And uh, like I say, just like old Slick, I know y'all gonna do what you're gonna do. So y'all be particular. All right. Whoa! 